Asia between 81,000 and 140,000 people die as a result of snake bites. Snakes may look like harmless animals, but they possess a secret weapon that makes them a formidable force to be reckoned with. And their weapon is venom. Snakes, elongated, limbless, meat-eating reptiles of the suborder Serpentes. They're cold-blooded and have evolved from lizards millions of years ago. Venomous snakes are species capable of producing venom for defense, digestion, and killing prey. All venomous snakes mainly belong to four families. Attractospidae, Elapidae, Bipididae, and Colopridae. Venomous snakes hunt prey using their venom. Aiding this violent attack are the long, curved fangs. They have evolved to inject their meal with venom effectively. Toxins to hurt, disable, or kill their victim. But other meat-eating animals use their fangs to rip Snakes are unique in that they have grooves along the side of their teeth or a hollow tube to deliver the venom. Snake dentition among species of different families shows linear evolutionary progress. Among the venomous snake families stated above, Viperidae has the most advanced delivery system of them all. Most snakes can be placed into one of four groups based on their teeth which correlates strongly with venom and lineage. Aglifer snakes. They have no specialized teeth. Most aglyphs are non-venomous. Examples are pythons and boa constrictors. Apistoglyphus, meaning rivered grooves. These snakes inject venom by a pair of enlarged teeth at the back of the maxillae. Opistoglyphus snakes are found mostly in the family Colubridae. Boiga silonensis or Nidimapia is an example for an opistoglyphus snake endemic to Sri Lanka. It is mildly venomous and poses no threat to humans. Because the fangs are situated in the back of the mouth, an opistoglyphus snake must move the prey into the rear and then penetrate it with fangs to inject the venom, which makes it difficult to hunt larger prey. Proteroglyphs have short maxillae bearing a few teeth except for an enlarged fang pointing downwards forming a hollow needle. Because the fangs are only a fraction of an inch long, these snakes must hang on momentarily to inject their venom. Cobras, mambas, and death adders are examples from proteroglyphs. Many of these snakes have deadly venom. Some proteroglyphs have evolved the ability to spit venom. The red spitting cobra is a snake native to Africa that has the ability to spray toxins. Solenoglyphs have the most advanced venom delivery method of all. The maxillae hold two very long, hollow-fanged teeth that bend towards the back against the roof of the mouth. The anatomy of the skull of these snakes allow them to open their mouth almost 180 degrees. The long fangs can inject large amounts of venom deep into the prey, making this type of dentition very effective. Solenoglyphus dentition is present in the family Viperidae. The Russell's Viper identifier by its flattened and triangular head causes the most snake bites in India and Sri Lanka. Venom Mechanism The venom, also known as zootoxins, facilitates the immobilization and digestion of prey. Venom of each species is a composite of several compounds that work together in unison to subdue the prey.
proteins constitute 19 to 95 percent of venom's dry weight and are responsible for its biological effects. Venom is produced in venom glands and are stored in venom gland chambers. When the snake bites, the muscles around the gland contract and squeeze the venom into the fangs, where they can be injected into the prey. Typically, the venom causes either dis tissue destruction or neurological collapse. The tissue destruction venoms subdue the prey because the prey goes into shock. A neurological collapse prevent nerve impulse transmission and interrupt all motor activity, including respiration. The mobile prey can then be eaten safely. Toxins are mainly divided into four groups neurotoxic, hematoxic, cytotoxic and myotoxic. Neurotoxins attack the nervous system of its victim and prevent the brain from sending nerve impulses leading to paralysis. Transmitting of information from neuron to neuron requires the neurotransmitters to jump from one axon to another. This is facilitated by ions such as calcium 2+. Because proteins in snake venom are highly amphipathic, it can disrupt the normal mechanism of these ions and neurotransmitters. This disrupts the transmission of information, which will lead to paralysis. Most species of the Elapidae family have neurotoxic venom. The common trait is a venomous snake with neurotoxic venom. Little to no pain is caused immediately after the bite. The patient will experience stomach cramps and paralysis later. Death takes place around 4 to 8 hours after the bite. The Indian cobra, also of the Elapidae family, have neurotoxic venom. They are also highly dangerous and common in Sri Lanka. Cardiotoxins kill the venom by inducing and preventing blood coagulation. Excessive coagulation causes circulatory collapse. They cause hemorrhaging, destroy the lining in small blood vessels and enabling blood to seep in. This type of venom is most common in wipers. The bite of a Russell's wiper contains hematoxins. Symptoms begin with pain Bleeding is a common symptom, especially from the gums and in the urine. Aspartam may show signs of blood within 20 minutes after the bite. The blood pressure drops, the heart rate falls. Death from blood poisoning or kidney, respiratory or cardiac failure may ensure 1 to 14 days after the bite or sometimes later. Hematoxins take longer to affect than neurotoxin. Other types of toxins are cytotoxins that affect the cells. These cytotoxins kill cells by non-selectively disrupting the cell membrane and the function of phospholipids. Myotoxins affect the muscles by a mechanism that leads to skeletal muscle necrosis. Snakes and their venom are a fascinating creation of evolution and plays an important role in the ecosystem. Humans have feared snakes throughout history, but it's paramount that we understand and actively work towards conserving them for the sake of our planet.